what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Ridge Fishing. I'm out here on Cottage Grove Lake doing a little bass fishing. I just let a four pound, 10 ouncer go, so you'll see that footage in just a minute here. But I'm out here to throw some topwater frogs and some of my trusty old Senkos. If you like the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. I'll be releasing a new video every Friday at 6 p.m. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment field. I'll get back to everybody. And if I earned it, hit the like button. So I'm gonna get back to fishing. Oh, oh, oh. God, I thought I felt a little tug. All right, let's just keep working it like a clock. I started at about 10 o'clock. Now I'm at 12 o'clock. This fishing rod I'm using is just absolutely incredible. G Loomis IMX light action bass rod, six and a half foot. The sensitivity is so incredible. Might have to put on something with some color. Maybe that purple one. All right. Let's sit about one o'clock. Oh, there we go. Oh, good fish, good fish, good fish. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, this is a good bass. Oh, I just gotta keep it out of the weeds. I'm on anchor here, so. Oh wow, oh wow, it's, it's running down into the weeds. Oh man. Oh, it's coming towards the boat. It's coming towards the boat. Where are we at here? Oh man, this is a good bass. Oh, this is a good bass. Oh, here we go. Oh my God, it's a huge bass. Oh my God. Holy moly. That is a toad. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh well, I gotta take this. I gotta be careful here. Oh my God. Oh my God, this thing is a toad. Oh my God. Here I go, oh my God, and again. <laughs> right under the boat. Oh, Lord Almighty. Oh, God, that's a good bass. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is a... Look at that thing. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't believe this. Please tell me I have my scale. Oh, here it is. Wow. Let's get the hook out. Come on, brother. That thing is huge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is like, oh my god, it's a six pounder part two. Oh, look at this thing. No, settle down, brother. Look at this thing. Okay, it's four pounds. About four pounds, 10 ounces. Yeah, I got it. I'm gonna keep this thing in the water for a second. Oh my God, that thing's huge. Okay, here we go, brother. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Here we go. Let's do a selfie. Selfie. If I can even get one. Look at this thing, man. Look at this. Good gravy. Okay, back in the water, back in the water. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start out with some short casts, just to the edge of this grass right here. This 
There's a little tuft of grass right out here in front of me. Try to hit that. Just real just to the other side of it. It's a good one. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, it's a good fish. Whew. Wow, that hit that hard. Oh my goodness. It's swimming this way, thank god. It is heavy. Oh no, it's in the grass. I might have to go get it. I might have to go get it. It's in the grass. Shoot. I'm gonna give it just a little bit, there we go. A little bit of slack got it out of the grass. Come on, fella. Come on. It's still stuck in the grass, I might have to go get it. Oh my goodness, that was a good, it's a good fish. I'm gonna have to try to go get it. I'm gonna have to do the old... He's off. I think he's off. No, I think he's still stuck in the grass. Oh, there we go. I think he's off. I think he's off. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay. Come on, we gotta stop. <laughs> Good grief. Come on. up to him. <laughs> oh, I have this fish on still. It's a miracle. Oh, there he is. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's another good one. It's another good one. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I got it. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, my God. Oh, what an absolute goat rope. Look at this fish. Oh, wow. Oh. Molly. <laughs> oh, buddy. Okay, here we go. Hold on. Hold on, brother. And we got four, about four, two. Okay. I don't know if I buy that. That thing is a monster. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. 
Look at this fish. Look at this thing. Holy cow. Yeah. All right, buddy. Thank you for that absolutely incredible fight. Oh my goodness. Well that was absolutely incredible. What an absolute miracle I didn't lose that fish. Four pounds, three ounces. Got wrapped up in the grass. I pulled anchor. The wind's blowing so hard it pushed me past it. I had to motor back up, put the anchor down. I didn't want to try to get the anchor back up. What a goat rope. But it absolutely destroyed my Senko. So I'm gonna show you how I rigged this thing. So I've got a four-aught Gamakatsu extra wide gap hook here. It's a five inch Yamamoto green pumpkin black flake Senko. So this fat end, you wanna put the, the tip of the hook about a half inch into the fat end of that Senko. Now it's sharply pull it the point right through the edge. And the reason being is this is gonna end up up here. So you slide that around and it's gonna look just like this. Hang it to where it's hanging right next to the hook. See where the curve of this hook would come through that Senko? You wanna pinch it right there Bend the Senko, push that through at a 90 degree angle all the way through. Now it's gonna look like this. To make it completely weedless, you wanna skin hook it. And how you do that is you kinda of pull up a little bit on the Senko and just bury the tip of that hook into the Senko. And now it's weedless. When a, when a fish grabs it, you snap that rod and it'll pull that through and it'll still hook a fish. So that's weedless, weightless Texas rig. I'm gonna get back to fishing. I've got two over four pounds so far on this bait right here. I'm gonna do a quick demonstration on how to fish this weightless, weedless Senko. So I just cast out near that weed line. I'm letting it fall on a controlled slack line so it has just a very slight belly in it. When I think it's down to the bottom, I reel down. Nothing's on there, so I give it a couple of snaps. And then I let it fall again on a controlled slack line. And you just repeat that all the way back to the boat. Well, it wasn't too bad of a day. I caught two good ones, a four pound 10 ouncer and a four pound three ouncer, both on five inch green pumpkin Senkos. I was hoping to catch some on some topwater frogs, but I couldn't even get a blow up today. So I'll, I'll settle for those two. If you like the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. If you have any questions, again, leave them in the comment field. I get back to everybody. And if I earned it, hit the like button. So I'll see you next time.